Perceptions of Mechanical Engineering Students Regarding Flipped Laboratory Activities The importance of instructional laboratories in engineering education has been argued by several authors. However, the massification of higher education requires additional resources, which makes their use difficult. On the other hand, the development of ICT has given rise to alternatives. In a mechanical engineering program in Portugal, changes in the curriculum reduce teaching time eliminating all laboratory classes on fluids and heat. Some teachers have proposed extra-class laboratory work. However, due to the high number of students, it is difficult to make it mandatory. Furthermore, many students come unprepared to the laboratory, consuming valuable time without really learning. Seeking to address the need for a hands-on component, with the existing limitations, optional flipped laboratory activities in thermodynamics were made available. These activities were organized in five laboratory sessions. The choice of a flipped approach was based on its suitability to engineering education and its potential to optimize students' time in the laboratory. To address the problem of the lack of a hands-on component in thermodynamics, the teacher conceived and implemented an intervention using a cyclical or spiral process, alternating between action and critical reflection. Because of that, this research was action research, in which the teacher was the researcher. Each one of the five labs was a cycle that included conceiving and planning the activities, creating and compiling its educational resources, implementing it for the students, collecting, analyzing and giving feedback. This allowed the teacher researcher to reflect on her practice, and for the results of the research from one cycle to be used to adjust the action in the next cycle. According to the flipped approach that framed this intervention, The teacher created and compiled several educational resources that were made previously available on Moodle, so that students would be able to prepare in advance. These resources included interactive videos, links to online sites, written and video versions of the measurement procedures, and technical information. Initially, the teacher thought that the video procedure would be sufficient. However, students' feedback indicated they missed the written version. Benefiting from the cyclical process of the action research, the teacher made some adjustments and later provided both versions. After attending each labs, the students had to fill in an online questionnaire, which included seven items on a Likert scale in which they assessed the activities. As shown on the left, most of the 31 students who performed the activities attended only one labs. As shown on the right, the attendance was almost the same in the first two labs and decreased from then on, being residual in the last labs. As for students' evaluation of the labs, 57 responses were collected out of 62. Students liked having an example of the results included in the written procedure. The liking of the video procedure was influenced by the existence of the written version. Students liked the video procedure more after they were given the written version. Almost all students considered having learned and they expressed the intention of attending the following labs. They would also like this type of activity to be available in other curricular units. The support was considered adequate. The availability of extra-class laboratory activities in thermodynamics using a flipped approach proved to be feasible. Students were able to complete the activities without requiring additional time-consuming explanations, perceiving having learned. Despite these positive outcomes, the interest raised was small and decreased throughout the semester. This may be related to the absence of the written procedure making the activities difficult. Despite both versions being provided later on, Students did not know that before they enrolled. For them, the written procedure, and not the video, was an essential element for laboratory activities. The evaluation done by students at the end of each labs proved to be very important and appropriate to the action research methodology, since it allowed some adjustments in the resources available. However, because the teacher did not inform the students that these improvements were being made, this did not help prevent students from giving up. So, students need to be aware that they are involved in an action research study and that their feedback will have immediate effect. As a follow-up to these findings, a set of interviews was conducted to better understand the reasoning of the students. These data are still being analyzed. Thank you very much for your attention.